2017 is the year of the small SUV. In only a few months we've sampled all new models from Citroen and Skoda, Kia, Hyundai and even Vauxhall. Now it's Seat's turn and the new Arona is the VW Group's first offering in an ever exploding B-segment crossover market. The Arona is, in effect, an SUV version of the latest Ibiza Super Mini. It shares many of that car's internals, mechanicals and technology, as well as the latest MQB A0 platform. It's a little longer and taller overall, as well as more spacious inside. Prices start from 16555 Inside, things are exactly as you expect them to be. You get all the usual set switches and buttons, and anyone who's spent much time in the latest Ateca or Leon, or even the Ibiza, will feel right at home. Yes, the design's a little conservative, but it's well built and everything feels functional and well laid out. There's plenty of space inside too. There's loads of room up front with lots of headroom and shoulder room. And in the back, well, it beats the Ibiza hands down and isn't far off the Ateca. The 400 litre boot is par for the course in this class, though the latest Citroen C3 Aircross trumps this thanks to a sliding rear bench. In fact, the Seat is almost totally devoid of clever features, with no particularly crafty cubbies or storage spaces. But Seats have long been famed for their agile handling and sweet chassis. If you spend any time with Seat's top bosses, engineers or product managers, they will always talk about compromise. They want to find that sweet spot between comfort and dynamic ability. And while the Ibiza set a good benchmark, this car's slightly raised ride height offers a much more comfortable ride. But the Arona doesn't trade off on handling. It corners quite nicely, and body control is tight. But that extra suspension travel means it rides better than the Ateca and arguably better than the Ibiza as well. Power comes from a choice of TSI petrol or TDI diesel engines. At launch, UK buyers will get a choice of three petrols and two diesels. There's the usual one litre with 95 horsepower or 115 horsepower, or a more powerful four cylinder 150 horsepower 1.5 TSI Evo. The diesels are a pair of 1.6 TDIs, again with a choice of 95 or 115 horsepower. We're driving the mid range one litre turbo. Most cars come with a manual gearbox as standard, but our car has got the DSG Auto. Now, our European test car doesn't have steering wheel mounted paddles, which is a bit of a shame because it doesn't let you exploit that punchy powertrain. But flick into sport mode and it picks up pace with reasonable efficiency. We've also had a go in the more powerful 1.6 litre turbo diesel. Okay, it's not quite as quiet or refined as you'd expect and the market is swinging in favour of petrol, but if you're a high mileage driver, it's certainly worth considering. That dinky petrol engine should prove pretty cheap to run too. Say it reckons the 1 litre TSI will do 57.6 mpg and emit 113 grams per kilometre of CO2. The TDI's numbers are still to be confirmed, but expect more than 70 miles to every gallon of diesel and even lower CO2 emissions. This 1 litre turbo engine really is incredibly refined on the motorway. We're doing pretty much 70 miles an hour and you can't hear a thing. There's a bit of wind whistle from the door mirrors admittedly, but it's a small trade-off for what is a really very quiet car. In fact, it's only when you really plant the throttle that you ever really hear the three-cylinder engine. It's pretty quiet. Seat is trying something new when it comes to specking your Arona. Traditionally, you choose your trim, engine, colour and options. But with its latest SUV, Seat is skipping the last stage and bundling all the kit you could feasibly want or need into the different spec levels. SE cars get 17-inch wheels, LED daytime running lights and a 5-inch colour touchscreen. All cars come with metallic paint too. SE technology adds a bigger screen and sat-nav, while FR gets sportier styling and different drive modes. Excellence adds keyless go, adaptive cruise and extra safety features. The Arona is an undeniably important car for set and it's the second of three SUVs to launch in just two years. Our first drive here in Spain shows it's got all the right ingredients for success but we'll have to wait until we got it back in the UK against some important and very new rivals for a definitive verdict. For more Seat content, watch our video review of the latest Ibiza. Or, for a brief look at one of the Arona's main rivals, click the window to see our walk around of the new Citroen C3 Aircross. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all our latest videos.